Hello, it is Jay. I just today, today, finished Unreconciled by Jesse Wente. Truth, Family, and Indigenous Resistance. 2021 memoir series of political essays, I guess, um, on the state of Indigenous people in Canada or which Canada has been overlaid on top of. And I really enjoyed the second half because he sort of turned it around. It's like reconciliation, which, you know, a lot of this book is sort of a reaction to, well, that and the whole thing of appropriation. There was a big stir about appropriation that indigenous people saying, hey, you know what, maybe telling our story, you, you white people telling our stories isn't actually a good thing. Maybe this is a hurtful thing. And Wendy does a really good job of saying, you realize what we're talking about when we're talking about uh, cultural appropriation. It's an extension of appropriation of the, colo the entire colonial project that has been going on of displacing uh, indigenous people from their lands and trying to assimilate them and figure out a way to systematically to extinguish people of indigenous background from existence culturally, physically, geographically, all of that. And this cultural appropriation is a part of that, which is why maybe we're a little bit ticked when people make up stories about us and claim it's the actual fact. Because this is a tool that you guys have been using since the beginning to craft a narrative of, we came here to this empty land, and oh yeah, there was a couple of people around, but we're the ones who did it. And the people that were here, we took care of, and we tried to civilize because they're very uncivilized. It's like these kind, this kind of storytelling, weaponized storytelling against indigenous people has been going on for a long time. And there's a real, there's a particular reason why this isn't me imagining what it's like to be somebody else, another white guy in my thing, even someone who is maybe of a, who is, who is super rich or someone who is super poor. It's, there's, there, it, 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 there's a significant cultural historical difference between that and me saying, ah, oh, I'm going to pretend without doing much in the way of research, or maybe having done a fair bit of research, but not really getting into it, not really being a part of it, to tell the story of the Songhees people and claim that this is the truth and that uh, everyone should listen to me and my voice is going to drown out a, a writer or a filmmaker or some kind of creator who is from the Songhees nation. And you know what? I'm even getting that wrong. Just saying that, it's not Songhees. And I can't remember the name right now, but that shows you that's the kind of bullshit that uh, some somebody like me could just blunder in and do. So yeah, that was really good. But he, he turned this around as, you know, reconciliation is about Canadians the white settler nation reconciling what their actual past is that this is what we've done and how what you know accept the actual facts the actual truth of the matter of what we've done to get this position of of privilege uh, how we have benefited greatly from exploiting land that isn't really ours or that we've taken. I mean, now, I do wonder about how many places in history all around the planet are 
when you dig back far enough, you have people who have taken something. It's, it's property is theft. Is like, is all property theft? I don't know about that. And, but, you know, the people who we stole from are still around. We have a chance to actually kind of come up with some kind of a different, a different thing here with Native people. Uh, and it's going to take giving up quite a bit. I do think about how our city council has just opened up a program for people to be able to donate above their property tax money that would go to our local our local uh, Indian nations. I'm on their land right now. You know, should I start paying individually, voluntarily? Is it meaningful for, for people to start doing that? Or is that something where it would be more meaningful for me to agitate to actually have the government do that for everybody? And, you know, is that realistic? And, and you know, up until that point, should I be fun? Should I be actually putting my money where my mouth is and helping fund Native people trying to do stuff like that? I don't know if I want to do it through the city, gov the city government, but... We, we shall, that's something to think about. But yeah, there's a real call for, so what are you going to do about it? You know, empty promises, um, hiding behind, oh, our politicians won't do anything about it. You know, what are you going to do about it? What ethically are you going to do about it? I don't know. But it's a really good book. It's a really good book. And I will, this is a continuing part of my project of somebody who is a white, I'm a settler on this land. I'm a part of a settler, um, settler culture. It's odd because I'm not a part of England. This is who I am as a settler. And there's nowhere to me for me to go back to. You know, Canada is my home. I was born here. This is all I know. Probably, you know, we're not all going to leave. He, he wonders what, when, um, he does wonder at some point, he does say at some point, it's like, look, Native people have been here for a shit ton of time. We're going to be here long after Canada is gone. And I wonder if that's like probably might be true. Though, is it going to revert back to native people is it going to get sucked up by the united states i mean we're a young country and things change and you can see that would be one thing it's like if if canada ceased to be and it wasn't it didn't it, it's it's not like it's going to be back it's going to suddenly we're all the settlers are going to leave but could there be a rejigging that we decide we set aside Canada and become something entirely new and different. The next step, that would be, that would be kind of exciting. Um, and I'm sure would have its pl great pluses and great negatives as well and be fraught as well. It's an interesting thought. It's an interesting thought. Never did think about that. All right. I'm going to go see what the dogs are barking about. More videos later. I've been Jay.